Hello friends, it is Alexey Davidov, one of the developers of Train Valley series and today I'm gonna tell you more about our Hyperloop objects, Hyperloop mechanics. Uh, we've just discovered recently that it's not that obvious for our players and the level creators to understand how, how these mechanics work. So uh, I'm gonna explain it a bit in this small video. Uh, the Hyperloop objects are in stations folder. There are six objects Hyperloop 1, 2, 3, and 4, and two decorative objects. So, to add Hyperloop system, you need to add these two stations. Uh, you need to use the, the same, it is important, the same stations, uh, two stations with Hyperloop number 1. Um, like this and these two stations will be linked automatically so you need just to deliver one train one station and will be automatically move to the other let's check it out <laughs> like this yep that's it it works um, if you want to add more uh, different hyperloops couples on the level you need to use objects with uh, different number like Hyperloop 2, 3 or 4 so there can be up to 4 Hyperloop system in the, on one level yeah it is the same to make it more um, to make it more visually more nice you can use the subjects with the pipes going inside the level inside the terrain or make it even longer using this uh, this object like this. So, but it's just a decorative issue. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to tell you about it. I'm waiting for new levels with hyperloop mechanics. If it's cool, try to use it. Thanks very much for your attention. Have a nice day. Bye.